Hey guys. So yesterday I bought the MAC Velux Pearl Fusion Shadow Eyeshadow Palette in Brown Lux, and it looks like this. It has a few little marks on it from where I swatched it, but other than that I have not used it yet. I'm going to use it right now with you on camera for the first time. I purchased this at the CCO. It was $28. This is a permanent product and it's still available on Mac's website and any place that sells Mac, Mac stores, Mac counters. And if you have a CCO near you and you're interested in this, like I said, it was $28. It's normally $40 retail price. This is just how the CCO is. Sometimes they get limited edition products. Sometimes they get things that are still permanent and uh, they must have had an overabundance of stock so they sent some to the CCOs. But yeah, you can still get this at stores for $40 or the CCO for $28. Um, this also comes in... Oh, I just realized it had one of those plastic things on it. Um, this also comes in other colors. Off the top of my head, I wouldn't be able to tell you all of the ones that they had, but uh, it was going to be the brown Lux or the pink Lux. I really like the looks of the pink Lux too. The pink Lux colors were pinks and purples, but they were like plummy, so really pretty. And then I think they had blue Lux and... There were some others too, but uh, though my main focus was going to either be brown lux or pink lux. And um, so I thought this would be probably the most neutral of all the palettes that they had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hair back because I don't want to have to keep pushing at it while I'm doing this. So let's just get this out of the way. Now I've already applied certain products because I've done a get ready video with me recently showing you uh, applying all my face products so I didn't want this to be too repetitive so I've already applied EOS Lip Balm, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Spot Treatment and this is in the shade Fair Slash Light. This is Benefit Cosmetics Ooh La Lift which is a dark circle eye treatment type thing. Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I don't really have large pores but I do like this as a foundation primer to use in conjunction with the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation in Ivory. I did a review of this recently so if you want more information about this uh, check out that video. And then I also have the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer on as well. And that's included with that video. I reviewed the foundation and the concealer in that video. Then for my face contour, I always start with Maybelline Fit Me Stick Foundation in Pure Beige. Is that the name? Yes, Pure Beige. And I just do this like as a contour primer. And then over that, I use the Wet n Wild Color Icon contouring palette in Caramel Toffee. This is um, available only at Walmart and I just have on the contour shade on top of that Maybelline Fit Me stick. I do not have the highlight shade on. My highlight shade is Mary Luminizer by The Bomb, which looks like that. It's just a gold, a gold highlight shade that's what I have on there and then my blush is Benefit Rockateur blush which looks like that and this is just a warm it's a warm rose gold blush okay so that's what I have on and then we'll take it from there I'm gonna do my eyes and my lips on camera Okay, so with these Velux Pearl Fusion shadow palettes, they can be used wet or they can be used dry. And I thought, you know, let's just go for it. Let's use them wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
wet some brushes with some Max Fix Plus. F speaking of Mac Fix Plus, how many have you seen videos re recently showing those new Mac scented uh, Fix Pluses? I have seen so many videos with people talking about those. So I was like, oh yeah, I want one of those too. Went to the Mac website, all sold out. They were limited edition. Check the inventory at some stores that sell Mac. They're all gone. <laughs> it, so it, it, it just reinforced the idea in my mind that I want to make a concerted effort to not buy limited edition products because it's so frustrating for everyone when somebody shows things in a video or either they haul it, they review it, or they use it and you can't get it. So I really want to try to stay away from limited edition products. I'm not going to say that I'm never going to buy limited edition products because I think that's unrealistic because sometimes things come out and you really, really want them but I'm going to try to keep it at a minimum and only show things uh, that are permanent for the most part. Never say never. Okay, so we're just going to use regular old Mac Fix Plus. I wanted the coconut. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's really, I mean, it doesn't make sense to buy a whole nother bottle of this just because it's coconut scented, you know? it's That's a total luxury splurge. All right, what are we gonna start with? Let's start with the... Um, oh, I should mention that when I put my foundation on, I put it all over my face, including my eye area, and I just um, don't even need to use like a separate eyeshadow base or primer or anything because it goes on over the foundation great so I don't have to use a separate eyeshadow primer anymore. So we're just going to dive right into these shadows. So the first thing I'm going to do, I like to start with my highlight shade so we're going to use this shimmery beige color here and I like to use my fingers, but my fingers are bigger, bigger than that strip, so we're going to need something small for a brush. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. contour brush. This is really tiny, and I think it will fit in there. Oh yeah, I said I was going to use them wet. So I'm just going to spray this with some MAC Fix Plus. Just one spray should be sufficient. And I'm going to dip my brush in there and then use this as my highlight shade. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm just going to, I start at the arch of my brow and then just work it down and out. Okay, so the next color I'm going to use, I'm going to do the transition shade next. And there's a perfect color in this palette for a transition shade. It's just kind of that beigey type shade right there. And let's see, what are we going to use for a brush for that? I think uh, I'm going to go with the Zoeva crease brush. I love using this brush for a transition shades. So let's give that a spray. And I'm just dipping my brush in that. I got, you can't see it, but I just I got Fix Plus all over my mirror, so oops. Oh yeah, this is this is a perfect transition shade. So I'm going like slightly above the crease with this. Yeah, this is a great shade for the transition. That's why I think a lot of people tend to go with neutral palettes because, you know, if you're using 
Like, let's say I had bought the blue palette, you know? Do you really want all different, a million shades of blue all over your eyes? It's just not practical. Some people think these neutral palettes are boring, but, you know, you can wear a neutral colored look for any occasion, no matter what you're doing. It's just the easiest way to go, because you're not going to get a transition shade like that probably in any of the other palettes. That's a nice color, and it doesn't have a ton of shimmer in it either. It has like very, very minimal shimmer to it, so that's perfect. Okay, so let's see, what are we going to do next? Next, we've got a gold and a green. I'm going to take a MAC 239 shader brush. Give that a squirt and a sprit and try not to hit my mirror this time. And I'm going to go into that green, that olive green shade right there. And I'm going to put that on my lids. Oh, this is a really pretty palette so far. I really like it. try to bring this mirror in a little bit closer So I'm looking at the colors that are here and you know what would have been great if they had had six shadows in this palette because my idea was using the beige as a highlight, the, uh, the, the, uh, the off-white light beige as a highlight and then the darker beige as a transition shade. I was going to put the green on my lids which is what I did. Matter of fact just gonna go a little bit more right where my eyelashes begin on my lids there and then um, what I was gonna do with that gold shade is I was gonna just put a little bit on my finger and then pop it right in the center of the lid sort of like a spotlight effect and then use the darkest shade as a liner the problem with that is there's no crease color so instead of using this as a transition shade I'm just gonna put it all over the crease so I'm gonna take this um, Real Techniques the name is worn off of it. It's this one. <laughs> um, and I'm going to put a little bit more of that transition shade as my crease color. And this time I'm going to try using it dry just to kind of see how that is. Dry. Not 
These shadows are really nice. I can't believe I got this for $28. I didn't see this at that other CCO that I went to in Connecticut, but um, it, they might have just come in. So I'm really, really cool. This is definitely worth $28. If you have a CCO near you, you might want to check this out. And you know, they always have testers at CCO, so you can swatch everything. Okay, so all that leaves is this shade right here, which I was having a hard time describing in that other video that I did when I uh, come shopping with me at the CCO, that video where I purchased this. So let's take, let's take a Zoeva pencil brush, and this is just a really, really tiny pencil brush, and put some of that. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to spray this because it might be a little messier to work with if I do it that way. It's kind of a purpley color almost. And I'm going to drag that right along the lower lash line. So I'm just going to put this on the uh, tight line. I said water line, but it's your upper water line is your tight line. If I don't do this, it doesn't look complete to me. I noticed in my last video, last couple of videos, I didn't have, I didn't do my tight line and it just didn't look like I had enough of a balance there, if that makes sense. All right, now we're going to do mascara, and lately I've been really enjoying the CoverGirl Super Sizer mascara. Oh, I love the way this turned out. This is a, such a nice palette, you guys, 28 bucks. If you live a long distance from a CCO and you know there's a certain product that you've seen like in a video or something, you can always call and ask them if they have it in stock too. And if they only have one left, they might even put it aside for you, I don't know. I've never had anybody do that, but I bet if you asked, they would do that. Or even if they won't put it aside for you, at least you would know that they had it, you know, before you drove all the way there. But I think they might have just got these in because they had it quite a few of them at the one that I went to. But every CCO does get different stock. So that's why um, if you have access to more than one, it's even worth it to go to more than one if you can because you'll find different things. And who doesn't want to get 30% off MAC products? They have other things besides MAC too. They have um, Clinique, Smashbox, Origins, Tom Ford, um, Estee Lauder, any company or brand that's owned by the Estee Lauder Corporation. All right, so mascara is on. What's next? Brows. I use the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in Ash. And I just use this little brush that came in a Wet n Wild uh, palette because, I don't know, that's just what works good for me. It's just a an small angled brush.
this is just a um, I just use the um, the cream side I used to also set it with the powder on the other side I was doing that for a little while but I really am not somebody that like touches my brows and stuff throughout the day so I feel like that's an unnecessary step and it really alters the color when you do that so I would rather just leave it alone and even though it's summer and it's warm outside it doesn't seem to you know melt or move or anything I really like these elf eyebrow kits I have been curious about some other products that I see people use, but I don't know. I'm not in any big rush to try anything new because um, I didn't really like some of the other brow products that I tried not too long ago, so I've gone back to using this and I really like it. Then what I do is I take this e.l.f. eyebrow brush, which is only $1. I love this I because the bristles move on this. Whereas bristles on other brushes, eyebrow brushes that I've tried, they don't move. They're too stiff. This is great. So I just brush through the product and just kind of shape, you know, give, give the brows a little bit of a brush and shape. I like to do this after because it blends the product into my brow and then it doesn't look quite so harsh or severe okay all that is left is my lips I realized uh, I, I showed you guys um, in my haul video recently I had bought a bunch of new lip products and the only one that I haven't worn in a video so far is the L'Oreal Lure Matte Velvety Full Coverage Lip Color and this is in the shade game set and matte this is a beautiful warm pink and um these used to be limited edition now they're permanent this is a brand new shade though they re-promoted or reintroduced some of the shades they had before but this was um the one that i was the most interested in of the new shade so i picked this up these are great, you guys. The only thing I don't like about them is the smell. They have that floral scent that's in all L'Oreal's lip products, which I don't like. Uh, but other than that, these are awesome. Um, I really like the matte ones. Not as crazy about the the uh, glossy ones. Oh, what They're not called gloss. What are they called? Le Matte and Le Lac. Don't like the Le Lac ones as much because... They kind of go all over the place, but the Le Matte ones stay pretty well. But the thing that's awesome about these is it's like a giant lip pencil that has a nice texture to it. So you don't need to use a separate lip pencil or lip liner because this is like a jumbo lip liner. Very similar to the new Maybelline Blur ones, but the biggest difference there is the Maybelline ones come in a lot of crazy bright bold colors and these are, in my opinion, more wearable colors. Because not everybody wants to do a bold lip all the time. I think the colors in this range are a little more practical. Oh my god, this is a gorgeous color. It's like a warm pink. I think a lot of people are really going to like this one. When these came out as limited edition originally, I bought all of them because I really loved them so much. But um, yeah, this one wasn't available before and it's awesome I'm so glad I got this so that is my first impressions I guess you would say of the MAC Velux Pearl Fusion Shadow Palette in Brown Lux like I said before if you have a CCO near you it's $28 or you can get it at 
Wow, was I really talking that long? <laughs> My camera just shut off. I was just saying that this is $28 at the CCO, or if you don't have a CCO near you, it's $40 retail at any place that sells Mac. It is not limited edition. It's permanent, and it comes in other color selections if you don't like these colors, but this one is the most neutral, and I love the texture of these. So that is it, you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.